What's up everybody? Welcome to Roderick's Views. That's not even my channel, Roderick Views. Okay, get it right. So, today we got another cheap car for you guys who are on a budget. It's, we'll, we'll find out. So, let's take a look right now. All right guys, relax, don't get too excited. Today we got the Ford Fiesta 2017. Take a look at this. Nice, really, really small compact car. This is economy or compact? I think compact is smaller than economy. Or economy might be smaller, I'm not even sure. They're both pretty small. Anyways, this is the SE model right here. Finish our walk around. As you can see, we got the white edition on deck. Just literally solid white, no pearl, no nothing. Wow, this car. Alright, so as you see starting off at the front, we got the Ford badge right here, nice little grill action, no fog lights because this is pretty basic. We got reflector headlights, we got the high beams, and we got the turn signals on deck. As you can see, the car it looks sort of aerodynamic or something, it looks kind of like a bubble really, that's what I'm thinking of right now when I'm looking at it. See, you got the big windshield there, we got some nice, are these, Let's see, we got some actual rims on this one, I remember we had hubcaps on that Versa we had the other day. But now, look at this, we got some, I don't know, what, what is this? I'm sure like it cuts through the wind, it makes you go faster, I think. So that's pretty awesome that they thought of that. All right, we got some blind spot mirrors right here, no blind spot detector, so you're gonna have to monitor it yourself. Right here, body color door handles, body color mirrors, so you know, it's not too bad, because you know, sometimes we got that black stuff that I don't like, it's like that plastic. We got the gas tank on the left side, It's Oh, it is capless. I didn't think it was capless, but it is. So that's actually a plus right there, but it doesn't lock. So, you know, get a little bit. Um, let's hop in the trunk. Right here we got the Fiesta logo because, you know, it's like a party in here. So double tap and it unlocks, but you have to open it up yourself. All right, nice spacious trunk. You could fit a couple things in here. Some luggage, some pillows, I don't know, whatever you put in your trunk, some groceries. Uh, let's see on the back, it's pretty much it, Ford logo. We got this really long antenna right here, actually. If you take a look at that, it's really thin, really flimsy. I don't know, I feel like they shouldn't even be including antennas like that anymore, especially like that. Like, that's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a tail or something, but it's on the roof. All right, now moving on to the car. As you can see, we got the key here. Nice, <laughs> nice metal key from the 50s. I don't even know if they had metal keys in the 50s. Did they? Probably. But yeah, this is it. Doesn't shoot out like a switchblade or anything. You can see lock, unlock, panic alarm, and the trunk release. Now this is funny. I was trying to open up the back seat just now, and I don't know if I'm missing it or what, but let me know if you see it. I do not see a door lock switch anywhere. So I was like, how do you get in the back? So I couldn't figure it out. I just, you know, had to use the remote. That's the only way I could figure out how to get in the back seat. Let's take a look under the hood. There's a switch. Pop that thing. Okay, here we go again. Where is the thing? <laughs> Found it. Wow, this is getting kind of crazy. None of these cheap cars can afford to put some shocks in here to hold it up for you. <laughs> so we got this little stick to hold it up. Anyways, here's the engine. I know it's a four cylinder something. I don't know what. But does it say up here? I don't know, we got 1.6 liter. I would assume that would get way better gas mileage than it is. Dang, helicopter alert. Well, that's a sheriff too, I don't know what that means. All right, anyways, we got the battery right there and I got some windshield wiper fluid. It looks kind of low or empty. I don't even see any in there. Radiator fluid maybe, that red stuff? Yeah, guys, if you want to tell me what all this stuff is, comment down below. All right, so moving on inside, you can see the interior here, cloth seats, not even cloth, it's like neoprene, like, you know, like some workout equipment material. So we got that, the door, this is where the handle is to get open the door right here. It's kind of blending in, so not too bad. We got speakers here. Now the speakers look really small and bad, but they're actually sounding pretty good, so props to Ford on that. 
That's got some nice bass and everything. It sounds all right. I got my iPhone plugged in, listening to Tidal Hi-Fi, and it sounds pretty bomb. I was impressed. All right, so down here we got a bottle holder. Oh, here's another speaker. Is that a speaker then? I don't know. Two. They got a bunch of speakers in here then. That's pretty great. We got the little bottle holder. It doesn't, I mean, it looks decent size, but it's kind of open, so I'm not sure how well it'll hold a bottle. Down here we got a cubby space, and right here you control your mirrors. It's really confusing because you have to go like up this way and like sideways, like when it's closed it's kind of weird. But it works, it gets the job done. We got automatic headlights sit inside. As you can see, we got decent room, but it's kind of weird. Like one of the things I'm noticing when driving it is the pedals are kind of low. So like when I'm driving, I guess because my legs are long, I'm not super short. My foot's like up here. I normally like to drive with my, like pretty much my toes, but I have to go like this, so it feels weird. So sometimes I'm like, am I hitting the brake or not? It gets me confused. Up to the steering wheel now, we got um, voice command. You can use sync on your phone to use Bluetooth voice and audio, and it works well. Also, you can plug in your iPhone or iPod or iPad and use that through the wire. We got volume up and down, track skip, answer and end the phone calls. Over here we got cruise control, and that's it. We got the horn. Let's see what the horn sounds like when we open the door. Okay, horn sounds pretty good. All right, so moving up here, we got little digital display right there. It doesn't show your speed or anything. I'm not sure what this is in the middle. Is, is that anything? It kind of looks like something. I don't know. Maybe it's just for the design looks. I don't know. But yeah, um, you can just put your trip and your miles. That's pretty much it up there. Over here, you got the speedometer. Maxes out at 130. That's kind of weird. Usually, it's an even number, 120 or 140 or 200 or something, you know? Anyways, moving over here, this is the screen for the radio. I mean, can you guys even see that? It looks like you can't. It's Oh, it's not on. Well, it is on, barely. You can see the time and date on it right now. Let me put the keys in. Let me get the screen on so you guys can actually see this. Close my door. All right, so as you can see, this is what it looks like. You can plug your phone in right there. Can you guys even see that? Kinda, whatever, it's kinda hard. All right, over here, radio, media, phone, sound settings. Got a CD player on deck, no CD included. We actually up here have sunglass holders, a bunch of receipts in here, but you know, sunglass holder, got some lights here. Now let's get to the vanity mirror. It's that hard plastic that I hate so much. But come on, with no light and I got a mirror, so that's something. Right here, I guess, I don't, I don't know. I was thinking you could put CDs or something in there, but it doesn't make sense to me. Over here, I got nice size glove compartment. Down here, we got the shifter. I thought that was sport mode, but I think it's shift mode, so you probably have to shift with that if you're in that mode. Just a warning, got a little cubby space here. There's room for buttons here. I'm not sure what features they add on, but then we got the AC, and to turn it off, you have to put it on this. It's kind of weird. Instead of controlling it with this, you turn it off with that. Figure that out. Down here, I got a deep compartment right here in the middle box. Two cup holders that are decently sized. My big bottle doesn't fit in it. Down here, plug in the USB port, auxiliary, and charging port. Um, sync included, as I said, so I think they have an app. They might. Over here, just like on a lot of the cheap cars, we have the Jeep um, air vents that remind me of the Jeep. And then down here in the middle, we got the regular ones. Over here, we got windshield wiper controls. Over here, we got um, turn signals and trip. I don't know what that is. Reset the trip calculator, maybe? I reset it up there with this little stick, though. Whatever. So, yeah, metal keys on deck. You saw it in there. So, now, that's pretty much the front seat. Pretty much done with this. Um, E-brake here. Now, let's hop in the back seat and take a look at what we're working with back here. I haven't been in the back seat yet. I'm going to make sure the child locks off because I don't want to get locked in again. Actually, I'm not even sure I'm going to close the door. Oh, wow. Okay, I have my seat all the way back in the front, and I can't fit back here at all. <laughs> As you can see, my, like, <laughs> let's see. So if I had to, wow. So if there's someone pretty tall in the front, I have to sit like this. This is not going to work for me, no. You have to have little kids in the back, that's all. And there's no cup holder in the middle. And, okay, I can't do this. We got a light up here, though. Let me get out. <laughs> I feel like if I got stuck back there, I wouldn't even be able to crawl up to the front. Wow. Now driving it, it actually drives pretty quick. Handling is all right. And um, the gas mileage hasn't been that good. I, when I got it, it had three fourths of a tank and I only drove like 40 miles and it already dropped down close to a half. So that's kind of weird. Holds about 12 gallons, but I would assume it could, it's supposed to get like 30 to 41 miles sitting in highway. But as you can see, it's almost down to a half a tank after only 44 miles. So that's only like one gallon it should have used because it was highway driving but somehow it's gone. 
<laughs> I don't know what happened with that, but it's not really working too good in the real world. And up here, how did I mess that up? I messed up the mirror. But yeah, we got the mirror here. It dims if you flip that. You know, it doesn't really dim. It kind of does that reflective thing. But we got it. So anyways, that is the car. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If you guys like it, if you guys have one, if you're thinking about getting one, I'm not sure if you should get one. I mean, it drives all right, but it's really crampy inside. So make sure you guys like see if you can fit and plan accordingly because it's hard to fit in the back seat for sure. And up here, it's a little tight, but it's all right. I'm actually surprised with the sound quality. That's like a major thing because that Versa sounded so bad especially when you start turning up the volume to a you know a normal volume not even super loud it's just got super distorted this has bass it punches it sounds good so that's like a main thing because it's hard for me to drive without some music playing that sounds good because if i'm listening to static and stuff i'm like no <laughs> anyways comment down below give this video a thumbs up hit the red subscribe button for more follow me on social media until next time it's roger i'm out i will catch y'all later Y'all should know my name, I'm a big shot. Yeah. The plan is to get guap with every tick tock on my wristwatch. Watch. And stack it from the